Okay, the uh, garfish, very sweet fish to eat. Can be a little bit finicky to uh, to basically get that backbone out, but if you can do that, uh, it's well worth it. They're a fantastic tasting fish. So basically, you've got your whole garfish coming through here. Nice sharp tip on your knife, we talk about that a lot. Just come on through right up to the top. Because we're, we're going to fillet him, not going to fillet him I should say, we're going to just clean him out, so right up to the top there. If you wish, we'll take the head away. And then basically just clean out this, uh, this gut section. And you'll notice when I take that out, a little bit like a mullet on the inside, they've got that, uh, a lot of that black colouring. Now you can use anything from a toothbrush, which uh, I've been told works pretty well. But what we've been using, a little scouring pad, I just might show you that. And a little bit of water. Over the sink and then just basically cleaning out that, uh, that bit of the black mess. So we'll just clean that out, as you can see. Now again, toothbrush works just fine. Well, I imagine a little bit of steel will probably do pretty much the same job. So just take it on through and give it a good clean out. It's very important you get rid of that. It's, uh, it does detract from your taste, so just take it on through and just clean it out. If you wish, as I said, toothbrush will work pretty much the same way, so nice and easy, nice and simple. We'll give that a bit of a wash out. Okay, now again, just taking this last little section out, take your time, nice and slow, and just cut through very gently along that back side there, right through to the tip of his tail. Now I'll just get away from my fingers there, but again, just, just nice and slowly, as you can see, don't press too hard. Just take that last little section out. What we're looking for is just that backbone and just taking on nice and slowly, right on through. Now, just peeling him out. I'll put a little bit of weight on him here just to take him out. It's where that rolling comes in. The red over here is not for show. I'm actually going to show you how that works in a sec. Just take it out, nice and easy. Now what I might do, which makes life a little easier, I'm going to put it on a soft cloth, which I'll just move across. Now you can use a beer bottle, a coke bottle, if you're up in Queensland, can of Bundy, whatever you like to use. And we're going to roll through. Now you need to be reasonably firm with this because you want to break those bones away. You can actually usually hear it just cracking or clicking as you take it through. I can hear that cricking and clacking very, very beautifully. We go right to the back, go that again. So just roll it on through. This is a big help. It actually stops it slipping and sliding around the table. That's basically it. Then by using the tip of your knife, you want to slide in underneath the backbone, about here. Take it through. Some people from there actually like to take that last little piece of tail off. And we just might turn that around and slowly, simply, you want to get underneath that and just gently pull it through and out. I just run my thumb underneath it. It feels pretty good. Now again, when these are out, one of the sweetest fish in the sea. A little bit finicky, but again, once they're done, you cook them any way you like. Sweet as a nut, they tell me these, and absolutely beautiful. Just taking that through, right on through, right on out. And that's basically perfection. Cleaned up, ready, set to go. I'm proud of that, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? And uh, again, simple, but you just need to know that a little bit of technique on that, and I will say that, a little bit of practice on that, but that's with all filleting. Practice, a little bit of time, you get some great results. It's Bill Classen here from The Fishing Show, and if you like this instructional video and want to learn more, it's simple. Go to fishingshowtv.com.au and see a whole host of additional videos.